Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we'll focus on the individual M files or M MATLAB function files. So the first one we'll look at is the initialize file. Let's go ahead and go to our current directory, which should have all the M files we need, and search for the initialize.m. Go ahead and double click on that, and that's going to open up the M file. This is the so-called input file uh, configuration. So this is going to change depend on your computer settings and where you place your MR raw, raw data. So the inputs are the uh, these strings, year, uh, year, month, file, and experiment number. Uh, if there's some time I have like an extra uh, folder that specify the experiment number uh, separately, but sometimes it's not, sometimes it's empty, an empty string, so that may need to be changed accordingly. So this function goes like this. So you switch, this is a switch uh, function, uh, and basically this is a number argument input. If there's three arguments for input, then it's going to go through this whole uh, statement. And this is, if there's four, then it's going to go through this right here. And then if there, if there's uh, neither three or four inputs, then it's going to output an error, an error statement. Right? So, in the first case where there's only three, uh, then this is a case where the ex is uh, an empty string, and if there's an, uh, a fourth argument uh, in the input, then it's going to have an uh, an actual string going to the the path, the full file path. Okay. So here is the the first the fir usually this is very typical. I I wouldn't imagine it be otherwise. The first file, uh, la label number one is the magnitude, three is real, four is imaginary. And for this to make sense, let's open up the MR data, the raw data. Let's look at July 25th. That's this, this is our test case. So the first file is the, uh, this is the magnitude file. The third one is the real. This one is the fourth one is the imaginary, and in here this is the binary. Uh, oh, oops, uh, my mistake. So uh, this is the scouting, the scouting scan number one. This is file number two. This is our first experiment. So I apologize. Uh, this is the first experiment under pdata. That's file one, three, and four. Mag two, real, and imaginary. In these files, this is the binary raw file of the magnitude. This is the raw file, binary raw file of the real. This and this is the raw binary of the imaginary. Again, uh, from July twenty fifth folder, you see these four folder four folders. The first one is the scouting scan. The second file is the first experiment. This is the second experiment of that day. This is the last experiment, number four. And these are labeled in my MRI handbook, notebook. Okay, so there, here we define the file numbers. And this is to convert uh, integer 16 to uh, single, single double type, a uh, floating type. So instead of using double, I use single, that's adequate. So basically convert an integer into a floating point. And that's because we're gonna have to use like tang arc tangent and stuff later on, and it makes sense to use floating point. Now, here's the part where we're trying to open up, load up to memory. So basically load up the Mantu into memory, assign the handle to it, and then, um, the message is is the error. If there's an error, it's going to be loaded to a message. 
So this is the handle for the real, for imaginary. So load these into memory. This is the full file path. So C user, this could be your name, documents, MR data is the folder I named it. And these are the inputs here. Depends on which uh, experiment uh, date, number, year, whatever. P data and under the P data folder is the magnitude, real, imaginary uh, numbers. And 2D sequence is the, the final file we need to open, load to memory. Now, once we do that, we open up the file. Uh, if there's no error, then just uh, open up the file handle, F read using F read. So open up, read up into uh, these variables here, load to memory. Okay, now close handle once we load that into memory. And this is the other case when we have the extra input, the experiment number is as uh, explicitly defined outside. Uh, this is uh, not very common. So, okay, so that's the initialization function. I hope you understand this part because it's like the easiest part of this whole thing. Alright, I guess I'll end this video for this. Uh, so, yeah, in the next video we'll talk about other functions, but since this video is taking a little too long, I'll end it here.